In this session, we are going to create a Maven project. Start by going to File, New, Project. At this point, we see Maven project, but if we did not see Maven project, we could search for Maven. Select Maven project, then next. In this dialog, we see this checkbox, create a simple project. Skip the archetype selection. Archetype is a project template generated by Maven. Click next. And here is a list of archetypes. We're going to skip and not let Maven generate our project. Click back. Then click the checkbox and next. Group ID, artifact ID, and version are required fields. Group ID is a unique ID that identifies our project. The naming convention is similar to our package. It starts with a reverse domain, com.rexjones2. Maven is not strict on the naming convention, so the reverse domain is not required. Artifact ID is used as the subdirectory under group ID. The convention is all lowercase letters. It's the name of the project's library artifact. Maven project. Version is the version number of the project that will be packaged as a jar. Name is demo Maven. And description is Maven demo project and click finish and now the maven project has been created in eclipse restore and here's the maven project the difference between a maven project and the java project is maven project has an m with a j java project only has a j do you see the predefined folder structure that includes two folders for SRC main and two folders for SRC test. SRC main is the library sources and resources. We add our framework code in the SRC main Java directory. SRC test is the test sources and resources. All of our test scripts are placed in SRC test Java directory. We have the JRE system library, which contains Java's jar files. You can update the Java version by right-clicking the library, build path, then configure build path, module path, JRE system library, then click edit. Select the execution environment dropdown and select your version. The SRC directory contains all of the source material for building the project. Target is Maven's default output folder. It maintains all of the output of the build. The pom.xml file defines our project object model. This is where we add our dependencies. Next, we're going to add the Selenium and the test ng dependencies, then execute our first test. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And Test NG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.